channel for the first time please don't forget to click on subscribe button also don't forget to click on like button so that you can get wonderful videos from my side every week so today I'm going to tell you how to make your home happy and divine place you will say what is happy and divine home see happy and divine home is a home where everybody respect each other love each other trust each other and everybody want the other person should progress in his career or in his future and uh, there is no room for negative emotions like jealousy anger frustration or or any kind of addiction in the family though most people think you know having a lot of money is the only thing which can make you happy or which can make your home happy well that's not the thing money is one part but you know but there are other things which make a person happy like which is very important for a happy home uh, you know first of all there should be uh, respect for each other in the family there should be trust for each other there should be love for each other and everybody should pray for each other right so I'll just tell you a few tips of, you know of which will help you out in making your home a lovely place a divine place and a happy place first thing is that every person should eat together you know if you guys cannot you know have three meals together we do understand because we are living in a you know a world where everybody is career oriented and everybody you know have a, people are doing different shifts so it's not possible for all of us to have three meals together if you cannot have three meals together try at least to have one meal together because it is believed that if your family eat together it stay together because then everybody think like think like and everybody you know has a one mind right that's why if you have seen most of you know our grandmas or our moms used to make sure that everybody eat together and I also realized that you know since the time I have left my job two years back I eat with everybody I feel more good I stay more happy so that's the first thing I want to tell you. Second thing is that pray together. It's very, very important. So prayer actually has a lot of power. So it's very important that the entire family pray together with the morning prayer and the evening prayer. So, and if you're a couple, like, you know, uh, it's very, very good for your marriage as well that you, because it is said the couple who pray together or the family who pray together, they stay together. So prayer has a lot of power and um, that's why it's very important that if you marry someone both should have same spiritual values so it doesn't matter what kind of prayer you're doing you know like or what re what religion you are from or you know you just do meditation or you just say thank you to god or you know that is your own wish or you know you do rp or namaz what kind of prayer you're doing that is your own wish that's just a different ways of doing prayer but you should do prayer you know twice a day that will be good for your entire family because prayer has a lot of power that's why you know even somebody is not well or there is any kind of natural calamity the first thing people do is pray because it's true prayer has a lot of power and it can do wonders in the family if your family will be you know doing prayer together twice a day there, there will be no diseases in the family all right because that reduces all the stress in the family and mainly these days all kind of diseases whether it's mental illness or either any kind of physical illness is happening because of all kind of stress so that's a different topic i'll cover in a different video but that's what i want to tell you is it's very important that uh, for your family to pray together third thing which i want to tell you is that motivate your children don't demotivate them i see a lot of parents you know demotivating their children and they, every parent warned that their children should score in 90s or 80s and even if they do so still they're not satisfied and still they demotivate them in some or other way see your children is a child so don't kill his childhood all right motivate him because the other person become what you think of right so if you're again and again you're going to tell your child you are not this you're a loser or you are bad at this he will he, they feel inferior and it really demotivate them so your job is to motivate your children not demotivate them i see a lot of children going through depression anxiety and all kind of mental illness these days so what's the reason in our times there were no diseases like that so earlier it was only us and uk now in india also most children are through internet comments i see and 
it's really shocking what's happening. So please spend time with your children, play with them, take a, take them out and listen, you know, listen to them what, what's happening with them or what their story is and please motivate them for their life. Fourth thing which I want to tell you is that work together, right? Well, so you should consider your home as a temple, so everybody should work together. It should not be, you know, that only one person is doing all the household chore and another person is just sitting. So I believe every person, should, you know, it's it's everybody's home, so everybody should contribute at the same level. So it's not that only women should do all the work, it's not, nowhere written in any uh, spiritual religion, I think so, in Hinduism also. It's written that every person should contribute because it's your home, so every person should work equally. So you, you should have a family meeting, you should decide which work should be done by which person, so that there is no quarrels in the family regarding which, which work should, should be done by which person. And the fifth thing is forget and forgiveness. See, when, when there is a family, like there, there, are, there are daily issues, right? where there are fights or you you will have a different point of view or there will be conflicts in the family so you should not drag the things that's what i learned in my life don't drag the things you know if you have any problem communicate to that particular person and then talk about it and then forget and forgive the other person you don't have to take it along with you like you know this person is doing this oh this person is doing that so you should not drag the matter or you should not keep anything in your heart. If something is bothering you with your husband or with your brother or with your sister, tell them directly on their face, right? And discuss the matter. Because you should not I see, you know, many, you know, many people just keep in their heart and think if they'll tell the other person, it will you know, it will worse the situation and then uh, you know, it's just be, just for the sake of becoming good, they keep everything in their heart and they don't discuss it and then one day the bubble burst up and then there is a huge fight in the family. So that should not happen. Even if you have a minor problem or minor issue or any kind of concern with anybody in your family, please discuss. Okay? Because communication is very, very important for a healthy relationship. Whether it's, it's for the couple or whether it's for the family. Sixth thing which I'm going to tell you is that it's very important to have strong spiritual values in the family because then it helps the family in staying together, praying together, eating together and enjoying wonderful time together. So it will be very good, you know, if you guys can go on weekend or to any kind of satsang or you know, can or you guys can, you know, tell your children about inspirational stories of any god or you know even any good people you admire so that they can get inspired and seventh thing is that understanding so understanding is very very important uh, nobody can do everything alone or nobody can you know become successful alone right so even if you know the one person becomes successful in the family or there should be great understanding in between everybody right so everybody is different in this world so you need to and everybody have different priorities and everybody have a different mindset careers so you should understand each other you should not say you know i'm the one who matter and the other person is nothing right so that kind of attitude should not be there so you should understand each other what the other person want from you and what you can get and what i realize in my life it's very if you want to stay happy in your life you should concentrate on giving you should not you know concentrate on what you can take from other person and then you know eighth thing is that your home should be addiction free there should not be any kind of addiction in the family so of course you know if you are spiritual and you do like morning and evening prayer together and you listen to a lot of inspiration stories automatically there will be no addiction in the family so even if somebody you know got any kind of addiction that you know like smoking or you know any kind of alcohol issues so don't just you know demotivate them or if anybody is friend anybody friend is going to you know going through that same issue don't demotivate them or don't just look at that person oh my god this person has this problem see everybody have some or other kind of addiction so our job is to help the other person to come out of it all right so don't just say oh you're going through this or you are that or this so I did I also used to think you know I used to stay away from the people who drink or who smoke but then I realized you know that every like even people who smoke or drink they're not bad actually they're just like us right so just that you know to 
be stressed, uh, they drink or they you know take drugs or alcohol. So instead of you know just you know telling them that oh, we are not going to talk with you or do friendship with you, I think it's very important that we we guide them and on and we you know help them in getting on the right track because this is and. Moreover, these days people think that it's very cool to drink or to smoke. Um, though that's not the case, you tell them that how, how it has helped you in your life. And then thing I want to tell you is that it's very important for you if you want your child to be ideal child first, you have to be ideal parent. See, parent, see, I want to tell you one thing: the child simply copy whatever their parents are. So if you get up at five o'clock in the morning. Definitely, your child is also going to get up at five o'clock in the morning, or you know whatever habits you have, or if you smoke or drink, your child is automatically going to adopt those habits. That's what I have seen. That if the dad is spiritual, the children are automatically spiritual. But if dad himself drink or smoke, the children are also going to think same thing because it is believed in the family that these things are okay and it's not harmful for the body. And that's what it's happening. So. If you want your child to be addiction free, first you should be addicted free. Or if you want your child to be fit, you should be fit first. Because you have to set the example yourself. So, and it is also said that a good mother is equivalent to 100 gurus, right? We have seen, uh, especially these days, I see Baji Rao. So you can see Baji Rao mother, you know, how courageous she was, or if she was, and how she helped her child in, uh, you know, overcoming all the fears. So mother is the first guru, and both. The, uh, so it's very very important that you know that you spend time with your children and you teach good, good things to your children. And also it's very very important that you know both the parents spend time with the children and teach good stuff. So I see a lot of parents, you know, uh, like demotivating their children but I, I don't think so they look at the first I want to tell you when you become a parent then it's not a time to teach it's a time to learn I I, I my, myself learn so many things from my brother, brother and sister so I think it's very when you become a parent you, sh you should start learning you should not start teaching so learn from them how to live carefree how to live happy I think your children are the first person can tell you how to live carefree so don't just you know try to tell your children to be like you learn try to learn from them and be like them and live, try, learn from them how to live free how to live carefree how to live happy I think children are the best example who can tell you and eighth thing I want to tell you is that encourage good habits in the family like you know good reading or good thoughts or satsangs or and say no to TV TV is actually a monster that's what I realized in the last one year so it's very important that you know you spend you you know see less TV and you spend good time on playing or on you know reading books or watching inspirational stuff in the last I want to tell you is that to create an ideal family spiritual values are essential spiritual values are not nurtured in the family then even though at present the future may appear good merely an illusion so it's very very important that you give spiritual education to your children tell them what good for them what is not good for them i hope you really like this video if you really like this video please click on like button also don't forget to share my video on whatsapp facebook instagram or all over social media with your friends and family and tell them to subscribe to our channel thank you so much for watching my video i'm really glad to each and everyone who watch my videos and have a wonderful and a blessed day ahead everyone. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Take care. Love you all.